I have been wanting to talk about the new Hoka shoes. I just got Hoka. I uh, ordered it, actually I ordered it straight from Hoka. Sometimes it's best to go to the horse's mouth. Uh, what you get in the box is nothing special, just the shoe and cardboard for anyone who collects that sort of thing. Yeah. Two pieces of cardboard. Okay, so the shoes are pretty nice. These are the new ones. I believe they're pretty new called Hoka 1-1. I don't know about these names. Senior, so SR, which I assume means senior. I don't think they mean you need to be old to wear these. Uh, they're actually one of the first ones I've seen. I don't check the site often that are just made for a walking shoe. So normally I've always bought just the running shoes, the athletic shoes. This is just made for walking around, I guess, all day long. It's got a different grip. It's sort of a... It's supposed to be good for workers in the industry where you walk like healthcare, maybe a restaurant where you could be slipping on the oil or something. So it's supposed to have a good grip. I guess I wasn't slipping on my old shoes, but uh, I don't work in a restaurant, so I don't know. Um, I've tried them on, they're comfortable, they work. Are they really any better than what I had before? The Hokey 1-1 one -one, uh, Bondi 7. Nah, nah, to me they're about the same. I mean, I don't notice anything different, so I wouldn't, I don't know if I would go out and pay more for that shoe, although actually the price is about the same now. So yeah, if you just needed a walking shoe, then the, maybe the seniors are just fine. Um, however, usually when I buy the Hokies, I buy them as a running shoe, and then when the, the sole gets worn down, mainly in the heel, once it gets worn down to where I can tell it's not really helping that much, I transition it to be a walking shoe, because they're still very comfortable. This type of shoe holds up pretty darn well, aside from the soft soles wear out pretty quickly for running just because the way they're made. They're made to be soft and like absorb impact. So that's the other problem is like, I get about maybe 400, 500 miles and then it's flat. And then again, I translate them to a walking shoe because they're extremely comfortable and they hold up. The only thing that doesn't hold up too well that I've had this two pairs of these is this back heel. Um, yeah, so the plastic kind of comes out of there and uh, Kind of breaks apart now. Now, I don't usually lace them or unlace them. I just slip them on and off like slippers. You're probably not already supposed to do that, but over the time of the shoe, it saves me so much time not having to take them off and put them on and lace them up. I just keep them permanently laced so they're never extremely tight because then I couldn't get them on and off. But on the other hand, it saves me a lot of time. Um, yeah, and so another pair that is currently in use for running is the Hokey Bondi uh, 7. And you can see this one's still got some heel left, so it hasn't reached what that one is. The plan was when I wore these down to the flat that I was gonna translate this to be the walking shoe and throw away the other one, but now I don't really need to do that since I just bought the senior. Um, so I don't know, and this, I don't know what to do when this one runs out. I mean, before I would buy these Skechers, they're not the fanciest shoe in the world. Actually, these are pretty heavy compared to those. And they're only good as a walking shoe, of course, but then um, I started this new process and I don't have to do that anymore. So these actually are just like, gardening, dirt, whatever, where I'm just gonna, I don't care about the shoe, like mowing the lawn stuff, stuff. I got a shoe for everything. So yeah, I bought one pair of Bonnie 6, which I went through for running 500 miles. I think I'm done with that completely. Um, a pair of Bonnie 7, another pair of Bonnie 7, and a pair of Bonnie Senior now. Um, but again, is it better than the 7? I don't know, it's about the same to me. I just, uh, I wouldn't run with the Senior just because they're not made for running. Whereas with the Bonnie 7, I could go running in it and I could also just walk around it. So I guess you get two uses out of that. So anyway, I hope that helps. Hokey, um, I'm not comparing it to other types of brands because I haven't worn them, but I would say it's a really good choice. It's hard to go wrong with them if you need a soft, cushiony, shock absorbing shoe to really take uh, the pressure off the knees and joints and all that stuff. And if you want speed, these are not the shoes. These are not the shoes you're looking for or the droids.